So brethren, the devil had prepared the mind, has set up the mind even in our, our midst. Even in our midst, my brethren. And I know I always get in trouble with my Adventist brethren for being openly. But even when a, a vice president of a general conference came to my office years ago pleading to me to stop this work of the newspaper, the billboard, the radio, and then he can get me a big position in the, a, 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 with the church. Brethren, I, 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 my stomach was going almost to throw up. No, my brethren, never ever we should yield to popular opinions or, or, or we should stop doing what is right, what God has been calling to us just because we want to be political corrected. God, God help us, my brethren. So it was the rabbis of Jesus' time that were persuaded well, what was pleasing to Rome. We have to be careful not to offend the Caesar. What is political corrected? Just a question, a rhetorical question. Are we repeating the history? Is in history being repeated? Think about that. Reason number four that John the Baptist was the greatest of all men, the great prophet. As firm as a rock. He was firm as a rock. He understood. He understood not only the, the time that he was living, but the, the mission that God gave it to him. What was the time that, that God set him up in the wilderness? What was the time? Come on, let, let's see again. If we, are, if we are following this presentation, the exact time that God put place this man in the wilderness was a time when Jesus was about to what? To appear on his public ministry. God has placed you and me Today, yes, about the time when Jesus will appear now as what? As the king of the universe. Praise God. Can you think of a greater, of a greater privilege? Can you think of a greater honor? Brethren, when I was attending the Roman Catholic seminary in my country to be a priest, it was something very special. And I remember my family, my aunt, my mother, my Everybody saying, oh, wow, that's good that, you, oh, you're going to be a priest. Wow, you know, that's good. Oh, just like your cousins or your other, you know, and to, to us, it was something big that time. But brother, when I came to the knowledge of this truth and God pulled me out, I said, wow, forget about all this nonsense. Why be in the, in the side of the Antichrist when I can be in the side of Jesus forever and eternity? When I can spend billions and billions of years enjoying the company of angels and Jesus and my friends and my family. Can you imagine that, brethren? No sickness, no, no hard, hot and cold weather, but perfect weather. No, no deformity, no, no, no nothing, brethren. That's what Jesus got for us. Eternal life. But that, my brethren, require, a, th there is a cost. We must give ourselves to Jesus. We must be uh, open and say, Lord, I want to serve you in spirit and in truth. That's, that's what it is.